I have some shit to say. I, I kind of kept quiet with this whole JYJ nonsense and giving my real thoughts. <laughs> Man, I'm about to go off, seriously. Number one, whoever is lining up their U.S. tour sucks balls, number one. Because how are you going to announce dates to a tour and it's like, what, 10 days before the shows and tickets are still not on sale? I'm not going, so I don't give a fuck. But it's more so for people who are, like, waiting on pins and needles for when these, like, tickets are going to go on sale. And, like, it's, like, not even, like, week's notice. It's, like, a day notice. All right, tickets are going on sale tomorrow. Like, really? Well, who? What the fuck? Number two. Who decided to make that a girl video? Did you watch it, buddy? Mm-hmm. What do you think? A girl. No, I tired no, of no, my no, baby. no, no, don't sing <laughs> it. You made me go no, crazy. No, Since, yeah, I don't care about the video. It was a good song. Really? I buddy? liked it. Really? You know what? I wasn't expecting anything like they what they were singing when they were in Japan or Korea or whatever. You I mean, mean, what good stuff? It's pr- it's it's Thank with you. Kanye West. <laughs> Thank you. What were you gonna expect? No, no, excuse me, no, excuse me. Kanye West has has Would some you bangers. Guys, stop okay. it on Kanye. Okay, okay. So true, sick. but it's, Kanye has some you know bangers. Okay, okay. So sick but it's of gonna everybody sound hating like on this guy. Because you know what, everybody always talks about the fact that oh, because American producers are shit, blah 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 blah, and yet you have everybody in Asia and especially Korea trying to mimic Everything the producers here. over here. So it's like. You know, like, kind of, like, get off your, you know, because he's the one who's getting money and working with all these people Mm -hmm. and stuff. If he were really shitty, 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 Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody would want to work with his ass. No, never. I mean, I don't know about his fucking rap or whatever, and I don't know if that song is even that damn good. No. Because I've heard people hate on the hell out of that shit. Terrible. But just because he made a shitty song (laughs) with JYJ... Or, you know, whether you like it or whatever. I would not use that as an example of his whole body of work. Is that what okay. you're saying? People are hating on him because of that one song with him? People with that? Are, they're like, from what I've been reading from different people online, mm-hmm. just saying like, oh, yeah, like, leave it to Kanye. Or, or they mm-hmm. couldn't, no. they couldn't yeah, have worked no. with somebody else or whatever. I'm like... No. You know, they first of all, they need to think whatever gods exist in this world to even be working with somebody like Kanye. Mm-hmm. Okay? So that's that's a bit of a compliment. All right? Okay, the song isn't that damn great. But, you know, I wouldn't use that to say, you know, the guy sucks and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm leaving out whatever controversy and, you know, or douchiness, whatever that image he's been a part he of. had mm-hmm. or has been accused of and so forth. And so forth. I've gotten over that, especially after to. looking at that picture of his penis. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you saw a picture of his penis? Yeah, man. Were girls That's like a big, that was like a big thing. Like I must have missed that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must have missed that. Is is he right? It's a schlong. Mm, all right, Kanye. Schlong. All right, Kanye. <laughs> I see you working with it. But whatever. Uh-huh. I actually, I mean, I don't, he's not my favorite rapper or anything like that. But I actually like some of his, his stuff, you know. Dude, seriously, like, that his first album, that's a classic album right there. Like, I can jam to that album from beginning to end. So for people to hate on Kanye just because. I like his two albums. Like, do you guys actually sit there and listen to all of his music? Or are you just really basing it on that one crappy song he has with JYJ? Majority of people are or, just basing or, it on you that. Know, mm-hmm. Or, you know, the shit that he did to Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Get over that shit already. She did too, all right? Yeah, Get over I've, it. I've kind of gotten over it. Especially if you follow Kanye and you've read all the stuff that he's talked about in regards to that. Mm-hmm. He is pretty remorseful over that, so... Whatever. People need to get over it. But, yeah. That's my only... And this absolutely had nothing to do with JYJ. On no, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. That's fine. It had to be but said. yeah, whatever. I wasn't Kanye. aware of people hating on Kanye because of this song. And the thing is, there are good American producers, too. There's, It's just not always the big name ones that people automatically pop into their heads, like right. Kanye and things mm-hmm. like that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I said before, that whole album, the JYJ album... I like that album except the song. I personally don't like the song. A lot of people don't like the song. But 
I don't, it's like whoever is behind these three is not doing this shit right. It's like, for me, this is just coming from my point of view. If you're going to break into another market, whether it be America, Europe, whatever, you research what's going on in the scene. You research what kind of videos are being put out, what people are really liking, things of that nature. I think whoever put this together put this whole thing together tour and image and music like within a span of like three minutes that's what it kind of feels like because everything's not to diss it i don't want to really sound like a hater but i'm gonna i guess eventually people are gonna take it this way anyways it it just seems so half-assed like they just really didn't look into it because it's that video it's so CG, <laughs> like it's so CGI. It's so like terrible. Like I, I hate to say it, but it's terrible. It's terrible. The tour is a mess. N- like nobody has information on when the tour tickets are going on sale. And usually that sort of thing over here goes on sale two months before, two three even months more in advance. Yeah. And for it's literally ten days away from like the first stop on the tour in New York. The New York tickets aren't even on sale yet. Yeah. And and the only ones that have gone on sale are the ones in L.A., um, not L.A., the one in Vegas and the one in Hawaii. And it's like, dude, seriously, come on now. For for a new artist trying to break into a new market, you have to be on point. You can't fuck around like this. Like, it's so sloppy, and I hate to say it, and I don't want to hate on whoever their team is, but it's terrible. You guys are doing it all wrong. And I'm no professional, but I'm looking at it from uh, a consumer standpoint. It ain't working. It's making me not want to be excited for a woo JYJ coming to America. And so imagine if it's people who are aware of who these guys are and who have followed them for a few years. Um, This is our reaction. Imagine like middle America, white middle America. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Exactly. Hood America. Come on, Imagine what their reaction when they see that. Come on. Like, seriously? Yeah. And like... It, it all goes into just investigating and doing your research on what is going on in that scene you're trying to break in. You can't necessarily do everything you're doing in Korea or in Japan and say, oh, it's working here. It's going to work over there in the other markets. No, we've seen it time and time and time again. I mean, Boa. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Wonder Girls. Eh, a little bit here and there. But come on. Seriously. You should have learned from what mistakes they did picked it up, switched it up, and worked on perfecting it. It feels like they're the first ones who are coming over and not like how Boa already came or Seven already came. It's like, seriously, you are fucking up. And I feel bad for the three of them because it's making them look like a bunch of jackasses because they're up in front and center. That's all I'm going to say about that. Was it that bad? I haven't seen the video myself. Well, you can watch it during the break. It's seriously, it's all CGI. Mm. It's heavily makeup so dudes. This is the thing about CGI is that people go overboard now and it can look really crappy because it looks obviously fake. It's It looks really Just crappy like if fake. Just like if you ever watched like the second version of that Eat You Up yeah. song, I did not like that I version. I did not like it. And either. it was CGI to hell about and that Like was green f- screen mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like that shit either. Mm-hmm. It, it's exactly like that but maybe a little bit worse. <laughs> oh wow. Seriously, from beginning to end, it's all CGI. Their outfits are like what they would wear in Korea, which really won't fly here in the U.S. Right. And they're wearing like heavy makeup. And not to say like, you know, you can't wear makeup here because, you know, <laughs> Kiss wears makeup and whatever. That's rock. But, you know, they were featured <laughs> in an article on Yahoo. Yes, I have some of the comments left there from Yahoo. Yeah. They were featured on the front page of Yahoo Music Online. And these are some of the comments that were left behind. Um, love the makeup and clothes. Reminds me of Adam Lambert. Yeah. Oh, wow. They may be successful, but they by far are the most gay looking boy band ever. Mm. This band sucks. I can already tell. They're Asians. Well, these chicks are hot. I bet she's a squealer. (laughs) (laughs) That is so (laughs) right. Somebody, I guess, who's into the fandom uh, wrote, Shiny's better. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, someone give me a record deal. These guys really suck. You get the, the hint of the kind of comments that were left on that Yahoo Music post. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, this song was not the song they should have came out with. The tracks, not to... I love Kanye. 
and Kanye didn't necessarily wholly produce this track, so you know it's whatever. But the tracks that Ronnie Jerkins made with them mm-hmm. are great. Mm-hmm. This A Girl, no, should not have been the lead single to come out. And I think they thought because the name Kanye West yeah. was on it, they were like, oh, it's gonna be big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. To me, like, for us who know the three and we know what kind of talent, singing talent they have, this song, like, it bothers me because you, they're kind of not even harmonizing together. Mm-hmm. And they're known for that. Mm-hmm. And this song, you don't even hear that. It sounds like it sounds like a terrible, like, demo to me. Mm-hmm. It just pisses me off, but blah, blah, blah. That, that, that's my thoughts on it. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to go see JYJ, go do so. When tickets go on sale, I don't know. Can't tell you because it's not out yet. <clears throat> I guess one thing good good thing came out of it. Um, SM dropped their um, injunction lawsuit um, in regards to stopping the sales of the beginning album from JYJ, and they basically said that well, we kind of realize it's kind of too late to do a lawsuit on that because the album's already out. They're already going to make money off of it, so we can't stop it. But uh, the original lawsuit is still uh, it's still intact, and that's still going on, and who knows when the fuck that's going to ever end. It's been over a year now. Somebody asked uh, Max Masuda, the CEO of Avix, on Twitter, after JYJ d- joined Twitter, they were like, um, they asked Max, why don't you follow them? And he wrote back, because they don't follow me. <laughs> That's right. You're so right, Max Matsuda. You're so right. Yeah, I like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's very right. I like him. He's uh He he ain't gonna bullshit. Yeah, he's he's had some interesting stuff to say. Yeah.